Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long since I did a video. It has been a crazy, crazy week. I'm getting into the swing of training three times a week um, with a trainer and also um, a couple days a week on my own. So anyway, first of all, I wanna say happy 4th of July. I'm ready, I hope you guys are. Um, it'll be so nice to be able to actually celebrate this year, won't it? Okay, so I will do a video soon, uh, probably next week, about what exercises I'm doing, or some of them, not all of them, but um, I know a couple of you are interested in what exercises I'm doing, so I will be doing that next week. Um, but this week, I just want to kind of fill you in on where I've been. Um, I stayed up until 3 o'clock this morning watching YouTube videos, uh, vlogs like this of girls that have done their first shows and how that went and what they wore and what they looked like, and um, it was crazy. I should never have stayed up that late, but it was really interesting and I kind of wanted to know what I was in for. And so having said that, I did that because I was shopping for a suit because I have my first turquoise suit um, that I bought just to just to try on. It was only $60, but I wanted to have a couple backup suits because I'm told that you should have some backup suits because first of all, there's very strict regulations on what types of suits you can wear, I guess. and um, And also, you know, there can be a malfunction and you want to have a backup so anyway so i bought two suits today and i'm very excited I'm, i'll show them all to you um when i get them but here are the pictures of what they look like um on ebay those are the two um and so anyway i also bought a pair of backup shoes for 50 bucks um so that i can start wearing them around the house because um you know, although I have a history, as some of you know, um, wearing platform shoes, <laughs> I, uh, I am still told that I should be wearing these particular shoes around the house. But the ones that I bought are $100 shoes and they have all these rhinestones on them. So I don't want to wear them before competition. So it's exciting to buy stuff, right? <laughs> and motivating. Like it's always um, more motivating for me. The more money I put into this, the more, you know, the more motivation I have to keep going. So anyway, there's that. So on... Mondays we train my legs and on Wednesdays we did shoulders and chest and on Thursday we did like a full body circuit um, and I just have to say a couple things. First of all, I can already see the difference in my body after one week. I This girl is amazing and the results that she's getting are amazing and I have no doubt at all that I am going to be competition ready by April and the only thing, you know, standing in my way is me. So. That's really exciting. Uh, we're getting along really well, which is awesome. Uh, my trainer talks to me like a peer, which is really amazing because I don't really feel like I belong in the bodybuilding community yet, even though I probably do. I mean, I've been doing this for like two years, but I mean, technically I've been doing it on and off for 30 years, but I mean, pretty diligently for two now, but it just still surprises me every time that I get to talk to her as peers. Um, and she started preparing for her November show this Monday, so I'll be able to watch her process and um, in fact already am beginning to watch her process, which is really, really cool and really interesting. I just feel so blessed to have begun working with her at the beginning of her prep for her show. Um, and having said all that, <laughs> I'm going to go hog wild this weekend and I'm going to eat whatever I want and I am going to enjoy my 4th of July. And then on July 5th, on Monday, I am going to start uh, pre-prep. So, you know, I'm going to be throwing away all of the sugar and all of the nasty poisonous foods that I have in this house, like macaroni and cheese and things that I have no business eating. And um, then on Monday, I'll start, you know, what I would consider like a pre-prep diet, nutrition, workout. And I really need to get to cardio. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I hate cardio. I just hate it for some reason. So I need to start doing cardio if I want to get on stage in April. So. I'm going to start doing that on Monday as well. Um, and like I said, I will keep you posted. I'll do a better better video next week. But I just wanted to get something knocked out and let you guys know I haven't forgotten about you in that um, it's just been a very strange week here in New Mexico. It's been cold and raining and cloudy, which is just completely unheard of in this region. So uh, it's been a little strange. And I suffer from seasonal affective disorder. So I think... It has really, really affected me this week because it was kind of unexpected, as I said, especially, you know, in summer like this. Um, so I've been um, just kind of plugging away, doing one thing at a time. I, I got life insurance this week, which is very exciting for me. Um, as a former smoker, I was not able to get life insurance. And as I get older and um, it becomes, you know, more 
important to do these kinds of things. It was very exciting for me. And I got my policy today and it says, you know, non-smoker on it. And so that was exciting. <laughs> um, and on a, on a darker note, we also have an appointment with an attorney um, to go over our wills and do living wills and get all that moving too. So, yeah, you know, part of this whole competition is of course to keep me young. And so it's, it's interesting to, to be living in that dichotomy of try, trying to stay young and trying to stay fit and active and healthy. And at the same time, recognizing, no, I need to prepare a will because I have children and we have the assets now, you know, now that we're here. So anyway, now I'm rambling. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful 4th of July weekend and I will talk to you next week. Bye.